All right. So on this trail, it's a new module from Salesforce. It's called user engagement for the admin beginner, which is interesting. So it's a new feature from Salesforce. So we're going to talk about promote feature adoption and discovery. So what does that mean? Promote feature adoption and discovery. Discovery. So it means for us to share other Salesforce users new feature so this so they can discover about it so for example salesforce is rolling out a new function or a new feature like um, anything that's new so you can notify for example you work in an organization with 50 employees or 50 volunteers or 50 um staff right and you want to notify everybody oh now you can do this so you can notify that to everybody when they log into salesforce so that you don't have to you know hold a meeting especially when there's a lot of people involved like if there is like 500 um, people involved or 5000 you can you know call a meeting for everybody to come and show them uh, what what's new so you can you, you can do this so whenever they log into their salesforce or browse on a particular page or record they will see um, your notice your notification or your step-by-step -step, um, guide so that they, they they know and they discover about it so they know oh there is something new all right so uh, let's go ahead and dive into our hands-on org on how to do this all right so I'm going to go here and hands on org on a new tab and log in there my resourceful panda my resourceful panda org all right so now I'm in so there's nothing here right if if I go home my home tab here nothing so you can have a pop-up on the right side on the left side middle or on the top here okay and it can be uh, docked which is like a glue it's glued or it can be floating around the difference is if it's floating around and you change page so to speak it's gone but if it's prompt uh, if it's docked it's gonna stay let's just stop talking and do it okay gear icon as usual set up it's called in-app guidance so in let me go to my quick find here in-app guidance with a dash you go there and this is what it looks like so you can add a prompt on the bottom here you can also watch the video so I'm not going to play the video, but please play the video from here or your uh, trailhead at the bottom here. It's the same video that is loaded here. It's very, very informational. So you have to play and watch this. Okay. So basically what I'm doing is being shown on this video as well. So I'm going to add a prompt here and open authoring bar. So now, as you can see, at the top here, you see prompt authoring, right? Prompt on this page, which is the home page, is zero. So we can add a prompt here, all right? So let's add a prompt when people log in and go to the home page, okay? So I'm going to add a prompt over here. So it can be floating, like floating like that, or docked, okay? So let's for the home page i am going to make a floating prompt so you will see okay i'm gonna hit next where do you want it like bottom left center right or top top center i'm gonna do top center i'm gonna make an announcement so everybody who logs in will see this announcement because we are having a remembrance day holiday I'm gonna see top center there so location is top center um, on Monday so a notification so 
please don't come into the office on Monday because we are closed. Just in case you forgot. Next, we are going to display the pop-up or the prompt to who? Everyone or uh, just a specific permission. So you can set a group of people. For example, a particular specific prompt you just want to show. Um, for example, students. So if they have a student permission, they will see the prompt. If they are a the teacher, they don't see the prompt because the uh, announcement or the the notification only applies to students. For, for example, it's an instruction on how to submit your homework when you're logged in. So you can do that, right? So I'm going to do everyone. So everyone who logs in sees this. Like I'm going to say the title is holiday. Let remember that Monday is remembrance. Did I spell it wrong? Come on. Remembrance day. Office is closed. Okay, I won't come. Oh, yes, got it. it. It has a limited character, which is just 15 character. Action button, that is if you want to pop this button and go to some other page. So we will not do that for now because it's just a notification. And I'm going to hit next. So when do you want to pop up this... Uh, Prompt, you set the date, right? So today is November 8th. So let's just do for today. It's a reminder, not come to Monday. Don't come to the office on Monday, okay? And as you can see, it's still early, 6 a.m. So we have time. Times to show just one time. Otherwise, you can see like how many times you want to show this. Or let's just do, can we do, but it's one a day, right? So days between, right? So I'm just going to show it one. So if you want to show it like, three times but it can only show one a day right so it doesn't apply so I'm gonna just one time only just a reminder for today so next name holiday holiday alert alert everyone when there is a holiday and the office is closed save and preview boom holiday alert <gasps> holiday alert yes remember that monday is remembrance day office is closed okay got it so that's how it's gonna look like pretty cool right so i'm gonna do another one okay so that's gonna appear when when everyone goes to the home page home page only all right so now for example um Students, right? Students, well, not students. This is uh, probably teachers who, who logs in and go to the students page, right? So teachers log in and go to the student page. Do we have, I think I removed all the students records because we want to have some space. That's okay. So for this example, let's, let's pretend the teacher logs in and they are reviewing their student records, right? Now, we have a new feature rolls out the developer just made. Oh, you can see now um, who is absent for the day. That's a new feature. For example, we just roll that out. Okay. So I'm going to add a prompt for teachers when they log in and they go to their student tab here. And for example, they just want to take a look at their student records. And now I'm going to add a prompt. I'm, I'm going to make it a docked prompt. Okay, so I'm going to hit next. This will, this will pop up when they can view student records on the student tabs, meaning whoever can view the student records, it's the teacher. So we're going to assume like that. So let's go ahead. Next. Now, header is uh, student absence. 
uh, notification who is absent today now teachers make sure they know now you can see who is absent in your class for the day by I don't know clicking on the new button which we haven't created I'm just this is just as an example okay um, below teachers now you can see who is absent in your class for the day by clicking on the new button below so we have an action button and it's going to say absence list for today and it's just going to go to you know any anything so i'm just going to go to salesforce for now So you have to create a page or a report and then link it to there okay but so for now let's not make it complicated i'm just gonna pretend this is the absent list so i'm gonna hit next so when do you want to roll this out so it's gonna roll out now and end at the end of um, two weeks so for teachers to know times to show we want teachers to know about this seven times days in between two days so what happens here oops two days come on dude two days right so it is going to show seven times maximum every two days for two weeks so every two days the teacher goes to the student record and is going to see this all right you got that so the teacher eventually in two weeks will understand and know oh they can see who are absent for the day in their classes okay so next prompt name uh, student absent report for teacher showing who are absent for the teachers classes for the day save and preview boom see who is absent today teachers now you can see who is absent in your class for the day by clicking on the new button below so that's that so i'm going to close this out i'm going to hit done so we're done adding one floating prompt and one docked prompt okay so i'm going to hit done and i'm going to x this out so we are done and close okay so when you are done creating the prompts to test it out so don't bother going back and forth to your actual pages to test it out you can test it out by choosing this start testing so you don't have to you know hope the pop will go up or not because you just created it and it's already showing you when you created it right so you you can start by start testing button here and see how it looks like so you go to the home page boom holiday alert remember that monday is remembrance day office is closed yay okay got it so the next one you want to see what happens if you go if a if a teacher goes to their student tab boom who is absent today teachers now you can see who is absent in your class for the day by clicking on the new button below absent list for today so is actually going to the salesforce page right now so i'm not gonna do that okay so that is how you are going to test your prompts so you notice for the floating prompt from the home page right when i go to my student page it's gone right but now this stays so whatever you go here this stays pretty cool right you go to dashboard you go to reports 
that stays here. You open a report here or a dashboard, this still stays, right? That is a docked prompt. So it's docking on here, okay? So now you can close that out and now you can actually exit your testing. That's a Salesforce prompt, all right? Which is cool. So we just exited it and let's go head back to the trail. So we have discussed about um, floating prompt and dock prompt. What's the difference? You know now because you have seen it. So and explaining how to do that, which we have did. And please watch the video. And this is how to add the prompt, which we have done. So let's take the quiz. Why would you add prompts? So you would want to add prompt is a new feature is enabled and users aren't taking advantage of a valuable feature. Users frequently left task incomplete. No, this, uh, well, yeah, I think A and C, when well, there is no A and, C, a and B probably, B and C, A and B. A new feature is enabled, right? And users aren't taking advantage of that feature. I think it's A and B. What are the benefits of a dock prompt? It stays, right? It stays while the user navigates around. So let's hope <laughs> this one is right. Let's go. Boom. Ah, we got it, baby. Okay, I'll see you in the next trail. Mm -hmm.